Good evening, this is Arlene. Hello. So anyways, you can see my hands are just a tiny bit better, but they still look ugly. And I do put cream on it. I bought some stuff that was recommended, but um, still pretty ugly. Anyways, um, I want to talk about um, targeting okay I was thinking about something yesterday I thought I um, came across now when I first got tar started realizing I got targeted a few months later out from where I work I we went to UC Irvine on a sustainability tour basically it's a green campus and they you know they do all kinds of things for recycling and stuff so when we left we left from work and we checked out a minivan from the pool we have lots of cars we could pick if we're going to go somewhere the suv car electric car whatever so anyways i remember the engineer that was driving UC Irvine kept asking for a list of people who were going and he never gave it to them. <coughs> Why you don't know? Because it seems unlike him to do that. And um, anyways, he drove the van and my supervisor, immediate supervisor at that time was a passenger and then we, I, there's a bench and then I sat with a co-worker in my section and then there were three other girls in the back so anyways as he is driving stuff starts flying out of the air vent and it's like um, you, you feel like it's glass but it's not maybe it's like plastic or something well, anyways, it only flew out on the driver's side. Now, this guy is driving and he's like cleaning his face. It got in his eye, you know, and stuff like that. And the supervisor sitting next to him, she doesn't even acknowledge what had happened. And I see what happened and I keep quiet. So did the girl next to me. <coughs> so finally it clears up. And um, so we go to Irvine and stuff like that. Well, uh, towards the end of the tour, um, I just so happened, I don't know why, just like turned like to flip my hair. And my former supervisor, my supervisor at that time, she's putting her cell phone to my head. And I keep hearing that there are apps where if they can put their cell phone to your head, that um, they can read your brain waves or something or get them. Now, I'm not knowing if they're retrieving them so they can turn them into somebody or if it's just a game or if it's just to lo uh, show where you're actually located for microwaving. I don't know. But anyways, if anyone knows, I'm open to your comments. So I thought that was interesting because I did a video um, from last week, Friday, I think. It's a real short one. I was at Trader Joe's in Pasadena and this girl in the produce section, I mean, before I could do anything, she comes things across me to get one piece of fruit all the way across. And she's got her cell phone to my head. And before I could say anything, and she looks at me, she makes a beeline to the next aisle. Well, I mean, I didn't rush or anything, but I caught up to her and I made a quick video of her. And shortly after that video, she left the store. I don't know if she checked out or what. I never seen her again. She hardly had anything in her basket. I don't think she did, only her purse. So anyways, I thought that was very interesting that I wanted to share. So I'm not sure if it means anything or if they're just doing it just like street theater and they're getting paid just to do perform uh, just like the same thing is also um, people will wait 
And if I happen to make eye contact with a driver, they'll make a U-turn, which I think is really dumb, but you know, they want to do it. doesn't mean anything to me. But I wonder if there's what the significance is for them to make a U-turn a U turn in front of me. I think it's silly. But people do do it. So anyways, um, I just wanted to talk about those two things. Bye.